Perry, just a general question. How would you kind of just sum up the season now that it's over? Um, obviously didn't reach the goals that we had set forth for ourselves. Um, you know, there are four quarters in a season. Um, we didn't finish the second quarter or second half of the of the season. The last eight games very, very strong, uh, which is disappointing uh, for the players, for the coaches, for the fans, you know, for the organization. Um, and uh, it's just, just, just disappointing because you put in a lot of hard work. Uh, there's a lot of guys that care. Uh, there are a lot of fans that care. The organization cares. And um, we just weren't as successful as we wanted to be. Does anything in particular stand out with this team's struggle to stop the run? Uh, to stop the run? Yeah, you know, yeah, I've said it before. You know, it's about shedding blocks. It's getting off blocks. It's whipping the guy in front of you. And it's tackling. Um, and, and we had, didn't do that very well. Terry, do you have any update on Will Greer and what happened with his foot? I do not have any medical update. And what, ha what went into the decision to not to put Luke, keep Luke Keekley off the field and Greg Olson in the second half? Yeah, it was just a coaching decision. You know, we just made a decision and went with it. If Greg Olson does call it a career, what does he mean to you? What does he mean meant to this organization? Well, um, to me, uh, because I've coached against him, he's been a pain in the ass, okay, because he's really good. And uh, I've tried to defend him a number of different ways. Uh, excuse my French, but I've tried to defend him a number of different ways, and it seems like when he and Cam were really in sync, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't defend that guy. Uh, for the organization, I think he's been one of the premier tight ends, this organization. You know, I know they had Wesley, and they, they've had some good tight ends in this, in this organization, and uh, he should be one of the top-tier tight ends within this organization. How much of it was a focal point to go get that record for Christian McCaffrey, and what did it mean for him to reach that? Well, it's no, you know, no surprise that you know he's he's our offense, you know. So uh, we just ran our offense. We definitely wanted him to obtain that record. So yeah, that was a big focal point for us. That that was a uh, a goal that not only uh, Christian had, but you know, the organization as well as the team had for Christian. How do you assess Brian Burns' first season in the league? Um, he's had good moments, and he'd had some not-so-good moments. And um, he had a rookie season. Um, we wish those moments could have been high moments throughout the, the season. Uh, he suffered an injury, you know, during the course of the season. And he'll grow and he'll learn from that because you have to play with some of those injuries sometimes. Perry, for whoever comes in as the next head coach, and I know you've expressed interest in that, what, you know, Eight straight losses end the season. Obviously, things really went south there. What would you say the positives are that can be taken, if any, from this season to next next year and the next chapter? Yeah, well, I think uh, you know the positive is that you know you got Marty Herney here. That's a, a great, a really a good general manager. Um, I think Mr. Tepper wants to do whatever it takes to win. Um, you've got uh, you got Christian McCaffrey and you got Luke Keekley and uh, you know those, that's two good foundation pieces to, to build upon. What Christian did, I mean, you've been in the league for a long time. I mean, it's the third season that's ever happened of that caliber. I mean, can you just kind of put that into perspective of what that means? To, that obviously meant a lot to the guys around him, not just Christian. Yeah, I just think that, you know, the guy that Christian is such a special player, um, and he does so many things well that – I thought Norv, Scott, and the entire offensive staff did a great job of highlighting him and getting him the touches that he really needs. If you don't do that, if, if you don't have a coaching staff that can do that and provide him with the touches that he needs, then he won't accomplish what he accomplished. So I thought that was a good, you know, a good um, player and coach working hand in hand. Uh, I thought the guys around him, his, play, his teammates, uh, they definitely supported that also. And there was unselfishness throughout that whole process. You touched on what this season has meant for this team, but how would you describe this experience for you? Um, growing up in this area, you never think you would get a chance to represent your, your pro team. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty special. Um, I would say that um, I'm disappointed because we couldn't produce W's. But uh, that's pretty special. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.